Look, man, I know it's only been two weeks, and I promise I'm not even trying to gas it. But Ashes of Creation is actually lit. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! We haven't even seen what the game truly has to offer. And this is where we are. Now, Intrepid has made some updates, dropped some patch notes, and we are now heading into week three of phase one testing, which is when the November 8th players get to come and play. That's if you bought a key. Let's talk about it. So first off, some of you were making fun of how I was saying DDoS in my last video. So I went to see how I should be saying it. DDoS. 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 <laughs> okay. Turns out that Google is wrong and I am right. It is DDoS because Intrepid got hit with a double dose of an attack. That is correct. There was another DDoS attack as soon as testing started this past weekend. The issue was resolved much quicker than it was last week, but it was still annoying. I think these things are going to continue to happen simply because people are losers. There's really nothing else to add to that statement. No fanboy stuff, but we need to give credit where credit is due. And Ashes of Creation is in a very good spot at the moment, considering this is an alpha. They're only going to continue to grow, implement other systems, and do what they do best, which is taking feedback. If you continue to listen to your community, then it's impossible to create something that they won't enjoy. This is exactly why so many companies are in the position that they're in, because they're choosing not to listen. Now, obviously, you can't listen to everything, but I think there's some wiggle room there. Now, this might be a bit too early to speak on this, but I'm going to speak on it anyway. Prior to the Alpha 2 releasing, we've heard from so many people that Ashes of Creation is going to be a gank box. Now, I've seen very little of that, and I've been playing. Some of you may fire back with, well, everyone is leveling and grinding, so no one is really thinking about killing other players just yet, but I disagree with that statement. I think if people are going to attack someone, regardless of if they're max level and have bis gear or not, if there even is a slight advantage, these people are going to take it. Because these types of people like making other people hurt. That's just how it goes. Whoever is doing the DDoS attacks on Intrepid want them to hurt. They want them to have a bad time because that makes them feel good. That's how I see people who want to PK over and over or gankers. Now, do I think this will increase over time as we move into phase two, then three, get other biomes, naval content? Of course, there's already a ton of drama going on across other servers, so don't get it twisted. It's going to happen, but I'm specifically talking about everyone getting ganked and you feeling like you're not even able to leave the starting zone. I think the general vibe has been people don't want to unnecessarily start conflict, but it is there if it comes down to it. Fighting over a grinding spot, resources, and I can't wait for this once we get to see other resources become available in other biomes, castles of course, and just respect. Egos and so many different other things come into play once we get on this subject. So I am interested in seeing if this changes in a drastic way during our time with phase one. The servers are so much better. You literally have no idea. Waiting in queue is a much better experience now. And look, I get it. My name is Q, waiting in queue. I've heard all the jokes, I promise you. The second thing, the queue number wasn't reflecting properly of your actual position in line. So it gave people like myself a lot of false hope, which led to me sitting in the queue for five and a half hours on the first weekend. This past weekend though, it was lit. I can't tell you how happy I was to actually see a number that's reflective of my true spot. When it comes to waiting in a queue, most people just wanna know where they actually are, and of course for the queue to hurry up, but it's almost like being led on in a relationship. If you're kinda dating someone, but not really, you're eventually gonna get to a point where you wanna know if you'll ever be more. The main reason I'm really happy about this though is because the people that are coming in on the 8th I'm hoping that everything will still fairly be stable and we can almost redo the Alpha 2 launch, but in a more positive way. Speaking of the 8th, servers and queue lines, Steven stated that there may be additional realms for the 8th, but this is all dependent on how their work goes this week. I don't think this is terrible. I actually think it's genius. We are going to have thousands of people who are trying to log into Ashes of Creation for the first time, and we already have queue lines, which aren't the worst, but they aren't the best. But after the 8th with no additional realms, they'll be terrible. 
I would for sure say add a new realm so the people coming in and the people who are currently playing that want a fresh start, they can have that, right? For the people that want to join their friends on the current servers, they can also do that. They just have to deal with the queue. When it comes to the patch notes, again, we're seeing that stability and small changes that are happening pretty often that's gonna make the world better, right? We're seeing the flying mounts got nerfed, they fixed the warehouse crash, quest markers, floating items, and a bunch of other quality of life stuff. Mounts have recently gotten their dash, that was about a week and a half ago, which is super dope because when you would get your mount, you were just going at base speed, which was kind of whack, not gonna lie to you. They also chatted about ghost walls. Players may experience disconnects and crashes when crossing in-game boundaries, often preceded by lag and desynchronization. Following a crash, some players are unable to access their characters. Now, some of the people that I was playing with had this happen to them a few times, so I'm glad that they're getting that fix. Unreal Engine crashes and errors, yep server lag and rubber banding. And that's probably gonna happen for a little while longer. This is still phase one. Everything is still so brand new. I think going into phase two, we're still gonna have a ton of issues. And then various connection and loading issues. Many players have reported the error, failed to retrieve character lists. And that sums up all of the patch notes that we got this past weekend. Now, as you all know, I wasn't able to play last weekend because of everything that had happened, but I did play this weekend and I made it to level 11. The goal was to hit 25 sooner than later. I've been playing with some content creators. We've been having some fun. I've been grinding with them. I've also played with my guild, having some fun coming into Vera. We did a caravan run the other night, which was lit, right? We did the first one, but halfway through, we got disconnected, lost all of that stuff. We got back in, did another one without any issues. We actually ran two at the same time. Once the game opens up even more, caravans are 100% going to be contested even more because it's such an easy way to make money. I will say though, the fantasy aspect of taking a caravan through the land with your homies, hoping you don't get attacked is a pretty cool feeling. It's very immersive and allows for some great memories. 25? Yeah. yeah I'm not really worried about uh, grinding to 25 because like there's so much I'm not other coming there. careful go the other way bro what is he doing i stopped no i stopped bro this guy doesn't know how to drive bro take his horse license that could be on horse license what is he doing get out the way i'll be doing some more grinding this week all right as we try to become the best bard and vera all right so feel free to follow your boy on twitch if that's something you want to lock into if you're still looking for a guild feel free to apply to my guild memorandum but besides that man what is something that you want changed in the alpha 2 currently please let your boy know in the comment section below if you haven't created an ashes of creation account yet why haven't you? Uh, you can use my link in the description. But besides that, man, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.